So around this time of year, deep divers, everyone's like, where are my flowers? Where are my chocolates? Where is my twin flame? <laughs> Who am I going to share all of, all of these chocolates with? Then you have a moment to yourself. Then you're like, wait a minute. I'll just eat them all myself. Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in nature, baby. You can hear those beautiful birds tweeting away. This is the love season right here, right now. Let's just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Sending you tons of love energy, deep divers. Take that, take that take that. Are you trying to find your twin flame right now? Have you already found your twin flame and life is so magnificent? 10 signs you found your twin flame. Are you still not sure if you've met your twin flame or not? Well, after, after this video, you are going to know if you found your twin flame, because right now it's the love season and we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? Deep divers, this is sexology. Daddy's home, water, fire, hot, cold, yin, yang. Daddy's home, I'm back. So I got a great question that came in. Someone asked me, Ralph, how can I know if I've met my twin flame or not. So deep divers, we have soulmates and then we have twin flames. A soulmate is a perfect match. A soulmate could be your auntie, your uncle, a friend, okay? It doesn't have to be someone you are romantically involved with, right? A soulmate doesn't have to be someone you are romantically involved with. It could be anybody. It could even be a pet. Like the cat down the road is my soulmate. I'm my homie. Deep divers. A twin flame, however, is your perfect reflection. They are literally another you. How awesome is that? And many times we are in the presence of our twin flame and we know it feels good. We're just like, how come this feels so right, right now, right? What is the first sign you found your twin flame? It feels like home. Ever been around someone and everything just feels so right? You just click with this person. It feels like home. You don't have to go out anymore. Because it feels like home, right? Yes, that's how you know you found your twin flame. How many times have you been around someone, you've been around them deep divers, and you can't wait to get away from them? That, that definitely isn't your twin flame, right? So anytime you have this amazing connection with someone, a connection you have never experienced with anyone else, that's how you know you found your twin flame. Deep divers, what is the second sign you found your twin flame? You had a dream and a vision of meeting them before you actually did. Has that happened to you? Did you have a dream of them? Hey, I'm going to meet this person. I'm going to meet Ralph Smart. And then you actually met them, right? That's... The second sign you found your twin flame. Many times people have premonitions of meeting their twin flame before they actually do. They can feel it in their bones that, hey, I'm going to meet, I'm going to meet them. I just know it. 
right? And that's what usually happens. Deep divers, what is the third sign you found your twin flame? Now, what happens when every single day you aren't in your ego? Just because you've been around this wonderful person, right? That's a sign you found your twin flame, when your ego dissolves. Because anytime, deep divers, you are around someone and your ego keeps making a cameo, that isn't your twin flame. Because your twin flame is your divine reflection. And there is no time for any ego when you are around your twin flame. You don't have to prove yourself to your twin flame. Like a lot of relationships... People are trying to impress each other, trying to prove themselves to each other like, hey, don't you know who I am? I'm like a really, really important person. You should really love me right now. No, with a twin flame, you don't have to do that because it's a heart-based connection. And that's how you know you found your twin flame because there is no ego. Instead, there is only a heart-based connection. Deep divers. What is the fourth sign you found your twin flame and the cat down the road is so happy for you? One of you is a runner. You see, meeting a twin flame and finding your twin flame isn't all peaches and cream. This isn't the notebook. This is not the notebook. Deep divers, when you meet your twin flame, chances are one of you is going to be running away. Why? Because a lot of the times it can be overwhelming meeting your reflection. This is like your mirror, your divine mirror. Like they can show you things about you you never even knew. You're like, I didn't know I was like this. But your twin flame can always hold up that mirror and show you the deepest sides of who you are. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. They are your greatest friend, your greatest lover, your greatest therapist, okay? And because of this, many times when twin flames meet, one of them is kind of running away because they just can't deal with it. Many times you might meet your twin flame when you're like 17 and you're like, I can't deal with like all of this love right now. It feels so right, but at the same time, I'm still running away. And that's why twin flames you have to make a vow to say let's make it work because we know this feels so right and then the cat down the road is going to come to your nature wedding deep divers what is the fifth sign you found your twin flame eating has become a whole new experience that's right like eating has never been so fun. You see, deep divers, if you are in the presence of your twin flame, they share the same values as you do. I see a lot of twin flames who are plant-based and it's amazing because they're always smiling, being in the kitchen together, making beautiful vegan plant-based food and they love feeding each other like this, right? Happened to me along my journey. That's what happens. Eating becomes a whole new experience because like you thought you knew food until you meet your twin flame who knows even more about food than you do. And every single day you can't wait to eat together because it's just like so fun, like feeding each other plantains and bananas and dates and cranberries. It's just fantastic. Deep divers, what is the sick sign? You found your twin flame, oh baby. You can recall past lives with them, okay? You can recall being with them in a past life. Like, it's what I call deep familiarity. I know you. Yes, that's what happens when you're in the presence of your twin flame. You know each other, not just in this incarnation, but from previous incarnations, you've known each other. That's how you know you found your twin flame, deep divers. And many times when you are in the presence of your twin flame, you can travel with your twin flame. Like they can transport you. 
you feel transported. You can travel beyond time and space when you are in the presence of your twin flame and that's why it feels so good to be around your twin flame. Thank goodness we found our twin flames, right? And if you haven't found your twin flame, you just get to eat all of that chocolate. Don't worry about it, okay? With a twin flame, you feel transported. You can travel beyond time and space because you have been traveling for eons together. Why? Because both of you are connected. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. What is the seventh sign you found your twin flame. Deep divers, you have a telepathic connection. That's right, it doesn't matter how far you are apart. Even if both of you don't have a phone. Where is my phone right now? No, it doesn't matter how far you are apart, you can still, oh my gosh. You don't need a phone to check up on your twin flame. Where are they? Is my twin flame here? No, 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 you don't need that. With your twin flame, what happens? It doesn't matter how far you are apart, both of you, both of you will naturally gravitate back towards each other. You don't need a phone when you found your twin flame. Put it away, Ralph, okay, right? That's how you know you found your twin flame. You have a telepathic connection. Both of you can be in different countries, but both of you know what each other is going through. You're like, oh, I felt that. I felt my twin flame just like started laughing right now, right? <laughs> Deep divers, what is the eighth sign you found your twin flame? Finally, you know what it feels like to experience unconditional love. You see, you truly love your twin flame. You truly love this being and that's how you know you found your twin flame. But it's not a surface love, it's a deeper love. It's a love with depth and deep significance. It's not a love to say, oh, I love their booty or I love their muscles. No, this love is like, I love their energy. Oh, that's right. I love the energy inside their vehicle. That's how you know you found your twin flame. If you are becoming a poet overnight, whoo, because of them, you found your twin flame. Deep divers, what is the ninth sign you found your twin flame? They are always in your corner and you are always in their corner. In spite of your differences, you're always holding each other down. They are your ride or die and you are their ride or die, okay? No matter if you are going through hard times, they aren't gonna leave you like most people do. They're gonna be there supporting you because your win is their win. And your loss is, well, their loss. You're in it together. You are the perfect tag team, right? What is the 10th sign you found your twin flame and the cat down the road is like, both of you are really gonna enjoy those chocolates today, right? They have helped you evolve as a human being like no one else. That's how you know you found your twin flame. A twin flame is someone who gives to you, not just takes from you. Because true love is freedom. Most people are in the Coca-Cola relationship, which is built on taking, which is built on possession. The water relationship, which is the highest form of it, is the twin flame relationship, is all about giving. Love is an act of giving. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. They help you evolve like no one else. They are there to listen to you. They are there to share with you. But more so, they are there to accept you 100%. Deep divers, if you have, if you have someone right now who accepts you for you, no matter how you dress or how you look, but they love you for you, no matter what other people say about you, that's your twin flame because no one else is going to do that. No one else is going to accept you the way a twin flame accepts you. And if you have that in your life, you have found your twin flame and then deep divers, well, 
you'll just say, Phil, so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Beautiful deep divers. We are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Deep divers, get the good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes. Get the new book on Amazon, Feel Alive by Ralph Smart. Follow me on Instagram right now at Infinite Waters. Deep divers, love is all you need. Have a beautiful day, deep divers. Infinite Waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You, love, love is all, is all you, you need, need. Yes, yes. Stop repeating me. Stop repeating me. <laughs>